Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today we're making Molecule 1. Yesterday we made Molecule 2, the day before that we made Molecule 5, and the day before that we made Molecule 4. Now Molecule 1 is based on ISO E Super, albeit it's an ISO E Super that isn't available to the public. So after consulting the Base Notes forum, the consensus there is that the closest that you can get to the version of ISO E Super that is used in Molecule 1 is to use timber silk. Now timber silk is another one of those molecules. You also have sylvamba, um, you also have cephalus. They're all very similar. Timber silk is more woody, I'd say. You definitely get more of that pencil shavings vibe, which is a characteristic of cedar wood, um, at least the American ones. Um, but yeah, uh, in comparison to ISO E Super, it is extremely different, uh, which is why I had the idea of combining them both. I've made other variations in the past I've made a one with a combination of ISO E Super and Sylvamba. Sylvamba is definitely uh, my favorite. I choose that over ISO E Super or Timber Silk. Um, and I've also more recently made another one uh, with a little bit of um, ISO E Super, Tonka Bean and Patchouli. I basically got that idea from a website which gives you different variations of Molecule One. So check that out if you like. Um, but yeah, basically all I've done is I've taken three grams of ISO E Super, three grams of timber silk, and I've combined them in a 30 milliliter bottle with ethanol. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'll wear that, see what that smells like, see if I like that more. But what I, what I think from just smelling it now is that I, I definitely prefer the combination of Sylvamba and ISO E Super. Um, but yeah, as I say, the version of ISO E Super that is used in Molecule 1, Commercial Molecule 1, it isn't actually available to the public. So um, making homemade Molecule 1 probably isn't going to smell like uh, Commercial Molecule 1. Let me know in the comments below which versions you prefer if you've already made this in the past. Um, you could definitely be quite creative with this one. And uh, yeah, that's Molecule 1.